All right, when you give up praise on it, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashan Yahweh Shah. I want to give a double honor to the Apostle James that rules well. Peace, blessing, salutation to Yaakim, Akwaf, tuning and in. The Israelite phone that are scattered. This is Sir Kwak Karaf from James, Virginia. And pretty much, uh, you know, it's just a lesson, really, about vocab. I saw Elder Yashawama do, do a video about, you know, vocab talking shit about one West, the only believe in you know, God's law, so, so, something like, to that matter. And I saw the video, and I saw the title. I was like, yo, I'm like, yo, this dude, I mean, <laughs> I really don't understand, um, you know, the, I mean, I, I don't think, you know, so like, I mean, I pe people just think, must think when the Lord spoke, he was just speaking out of his ass, and he was just saying things out of just thin air, and you know, pretty much, you know, all the words that when Yahweh spoke, he spoke of and quoted from the Old Testament, and other things also tells this is also another cut because it tells you that the law the statutes and commandments were given to Israel only and you know and pretty much when it all comes down people don't want this to be the truth because they know it's going to be a big payback they can't and they can't acknowledge the fact that the Lord only came back to save uh, on, uh, uh, and elect a remnant. And that remnant is going to be only of the 12 tribes. And see, this the, the, this whole world has done dirt. You know, extorted, raped, robbed, and murdered the, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latino, Hispanic, Native Americans. And this has been a lot of deceit, enchantments, and sorcery upon this deal. You know, the... You know, when you, I forgot the the brother, Matataya in my camp, he made a good point. When you look at the uh, the check, so to speak, roughly paraphrasing, that brother knows what I'm talking about. You know, he said pretty much, you know, follow the money. And, you know, look at uh, <laughs> look at who, who Esau is paying to deceive, to lie, you know, to pretty much try to conceal this truth. Overall, these people do not want one of the, the pretty much is, is out the bag. You know, the scriptures is for the elect. The Israelites, the lost tribes of Israel has been found. And it's the very people that are in the ghetto slums, favelas, casarios, the barrios, the barrios. And the people, and the very people that you talk shit against, that are you call you are labeled as thugs, criminals, drug dealers, you know, wetback spicks, his um, porch monkeys, coons, you know, the same people, you know, grease monkeys, the same people that, um, you know, have these derogatory terms, are the the children of Israel. Yes, the so-called black woman is a is an Israelite, even though she's 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 in a complete state of Gentile state of mind. And you know the so-called Negroes, but that's being a head tribe. Even and that's the the tribe that the Lord Himself, which we know His name is Yahweh Shah, He sprung from. So you know the cat is you know the jig is up you know. The, what's the saying? The cat is out the bag. You know, roughly paraphrasing. This truth is out there, and you know, when Yahweh Shah walked this earth, he started his ministry at the age of thirty-three. You know, so like I be really thirty to thirty-three. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, a short, you know, ministry, but a very effective. He quoted from the scriptures, and, and I'm just, I know, I'm just gonna scroll down. But it says uh, the Torah, and it's uh, this is this is Jews for you know Jesus.org, and this is um, 
you know, it says, um, read it verbatim. Jesus references to Old Testament scriptures. We all know the law was given to who? Israel. That's why the only people that can really sin is Israel. You said, uh, what is it? Um, he dealeth with Israel. No, it's not that one. He's in Psalms. Hold on, bear with me. Psalm 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise you the Lord. Um, Sirach. I believe 17, verse 7. Damn it. Um, let's see if you. Sirach, no. Yes, yeah, so I read. Sirach 17 and 7. He says, uh, With all he filled them with knowledge and understanding and showed them good and evil, he set his eye upon their hearts that he might show them the greatness of his works. He gave them gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever that they might declare his marvelous his works with understanding and the elect shall praise his holy name beside this he gave them knowledge in the law of life for inheritance he made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgment their eyes saw the majesty of his glory and their ears heard his glorious voice and he sent to them beware of all unrighteousness and he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor their ways are ever before him and shall and shall not be hid from his eyes. So the Lord chose Israel. Let me see every one lily. Second address five. Uh, second address five and twenty four. So verse 23, and he said, O Lord, that bears rule of every wood of the earth and all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen the only one vine. Trees meaning nations, people. In all of the lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen the one pit. In all of the flowers, there are one lily. In all, in all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled the one river. In all, and of all builded cities, thou hast hallowed Sion unto thyself. And out and of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named the one dove. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided the one sheep. Pretty much what I'm saying, the point is that the Lord gave Israel the law. He only chose Israel. Going, uh, you can go to Deuteronomy, my favorite chapter, Deuteronomy. Uh, man, that's crazy. That now I can't remember. Uh, the fourth chapter, starting at the sixth verse. Um, bear with me. Um, shit. Let me see. All right, here we go. Salaki. Now, I'm just going to, again, going to scroll down. Yeah, one thing he says, uh, when Yahweh was tempted in a, in a, in a, in a, um, you know, by Satan, he said, uh, but he answered, it was written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of, of Yahweh. And it says, this go back to Deuteronomy 8th chapter. And he humbled you and let you hunger and fed you with manna, which you did not know, did, nor did your fathers know that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. You see that? So he quoted, and that's and even in that time, who 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 was in the wilderness? Who did the Lord feed manna? The Israelites. So barely showing you that you know the Lord Himself was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah, dark skinned man, and he knew the law. What is the law? Law is that's our righteousness. The law is righteous. That's why the is it you know a did not um it say that the Lord was perfect. 
he was left and made an example for how, how we should walk. It says, uh, uh, Yahusha said to him again, it is written, you shall not put the Lord your power to the test. It says, Deuteronomy 6 and 16, you shall not put the Lord your power to the test as you test him at Massa. And I'm pretty sure um, this is uh, probably like a, a new new agenda, uh, version of the scriptures. But, you know, this um, reading, um, it says, uh, Then Yahusha said unto him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your power, and him only shall you serve. Uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 13. Yeah, this is the e ESV. Um, I don't even know how you can switch it over. Yeah, I don't. Hold on real quick. I'll do this. New tab. Damn it. KJV. Yeah, Deuteronomy 6 and 16. You shall not tempt the Lord your power as you tempted him in mass. So there you go. Uh, scripture quoted from the Old Testament. It's another cut to you pastors and a lot more other people that even says that um, the Lord, you know, is only dealing with the New Testament. Then you also have the old T Israelites that only talk about the Lord. I mean, the Old Testament, which is all bullshit. It's good to tell you that the Lord um, dealeth in the volume of the book, you know? So, again, man, you know, I, I, yo, vocab, you just, need to, you just need to go ahead and uh, fall back. Because you pretty much don't know what the hell you're talking about. Now, I, how the hell do I get out of this? Damn it. All right, whatever. Um, still out. Oh, well. It says, uh, in Mount Sermon, in the Sermon on the Mount. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to make this a long lesson, but I'm just going to get to the point. You have heard that it that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. And that goes back what? This is Matthew 5 and 21, and it goes back to Exodus the 20, 20 chapter. You shall not murder. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery, Matthew 5 and 27. And, it's, again, and that goes back again, Exodus 20 to 4, 14, Deuteronomy 5 and 18. You shall not commit adultery. See that? So that's in the New Testament and the Old Testament. So the Lord, Yahweh Shah was not talking from the side of his neck or talking out of his ass. He was what? Filled with the Holy Scripture, filled with the Spirit, and he moved in the Spirit, and he quoted what? From the, from the Old Testament. Proving that he was what? Talking to Israelites. Who which knew what? The law. Not just fucking anybody. I mean, yo. Pretty much when, when you... <laughs> you know. When, when the whole nut... The, the, the nutshell of it. We, we, we're we winning. You know. Nothing to worry about. Because these people are failing miserably. Trying to disapprove us. And make us look bad like we're stupid. The scripture tell you that the Lord chose the lowly. I mean, what the fuck do we have? I mean, what, 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 what do we have to lose? What do we, you know? Why would we we be out there, you know, just out there ranting and talking shit, you know? <laughs> That's why it's beautiful. There's no, it's no, it's no hypocrisy in us. There's no, uh, you know, we're not doing this for money. This is, this is, you know, through the spirit. You know, we, cause what we we have faith. And we what we want we want that uh that gift that reward that crown, and that's what we're striving for. So, you know, again, you guys are mi we understand that there's nothing on this earth that satisfies us that Esau can do that you know that pretty much can uh, you know make us love this world. This world is true. All we have is uh you know what this what what we were called to do. It, said, it was also said, Who, whosoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. Now, go back to Deuteronomy 24, chapter, when a man takes a wife and marries her, if then she finds no favor 
in his eyes because he has found some indecency in her and he writes her a, a certificate of divorce and puts her in the hand sends her out of his house so again that goes back to the, the old testament it says uh and again you have heard that it was said to to those of old you shall not swear falsely but shall perform to do what you have sworn uh this going back to the vow the numbers 30 and 2 in Deuteronomy in 20 let me see Deuteronomy yeah, if a man vows a vow to the Lord or swears an oath to bind himself by a pledge he shall not break his word word he shall do according to all the prop to all that perceive out of his mouth and there you go in uh, uh, Numbers 30 and 2, and this is uh, Deuteronomy 23 and 21. Now, jumping down, honor and parents, a key, you know, it says Jewish, but uh, Israelite value. It says uh, Matthew 5, 1 through 6. It says, He answered them, and why do you break the commandment of Yahweh for the sake of your tradition? For he I will command it, honor your father and your mother, and whoso and whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, if anyone tells his father or his mother, what would you have gained from me is given to Yahweh. He need not honor he need not honor his father. So for the sake of your tradition you have made void the word of Yahweh. And again, it goes back to Exodus twenty and twelve and Exodus twenty one and seventeen. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may, may be long in the land, and the Lord your power is given you. Divorce and creation. <laughs> uh, Matt, uh, he, this is Matthew 9, 19 and 4 and 6. And Mark 10 and 6, 6 through 8. He answered, Have you not read that who he who created them from the beginning made them male and female, gay cut, and said, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife. And the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one flesh. What therefore Yahweh have joined together, let not man separate. Esau does it. <laughs> but you know. Um Genesis one through seven. So Yahweh created man in his own image, and the image of Yahweh he created him, male and female. He created them. Genesis two and twenty four. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh. So there you go. Um, that's why the scripture says in the beginning, um, he the word, he was the word, roughly paraphrasing, the Ten Commandments. Um, it says next, let me see, hold on. And he said to him, why do you ask me what, about what is good? There's only one who is good and if you would enter life, keep the commandments. And she said to him, which ones? And Yahweh said, you shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. There you go. Quoting from the old scripture. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, all these have I kept. What do I lack? That was Matthew 9, 17 and 20. Mark 10, 19 and Luke 18 and 20. And here it is. Exodus 20, 12 to 16, Deuteronomy 5, 16 to 20, Leviticus 9 and 18. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land, that the Lord your power is given you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. And the thing about it, we're speaking the same exact words that the Yahweh Shah himself spoke. We're on the house in the Bible, and we, we're telling our people to get, you know, repent. We're telling our people about the law. You have to you have to react to righteous laws, statutes and commandments. Why? Because it was given to us as a nation for an heritage. That is considered our righteousness to, and to be separate and holy from other nations. So yes, Pastor lied to you. Now come on, man. Here it is, Yahweh Shah is speaking about doing them. And here it is, these church pastors talking about it is not in effect. Which is bullshit. And vocab talking about some we um I, I forgot what he what he quote unquote said fully, but pretty much he said old oh, west old oh, westers or something to that fashion. We 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 uh, we we follow something about the law. He said, but um 
he says, uh, It says, um, this is, this is what, you, there you go. But it said, he said to him, you shall love the Lord your power with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 to 39. Mark 12, 28 to 34. And here it is again. Deuteronomy 65 and Leviticus 18. You shall love the Lord your power with all your heart. And with all your soul and with all your might, and that's pretty much, um, you know, the point. You know, I, you know, you can, uh, brothers can keep going down. I probably, I'm gonna book them out first, you know, just for, you know, for later. You know, cause again, man, these, the truth is out there, man. You know, these these people are failing miserably trying to come up against the truth and try to disprove us and make us look like we're simple and stupid and retarded. Hey man, you, you, you're really fighting up against the pricks, you know. You know, the very, you know, here it is. You, hey, what's the scripture says? Um, you, you don't want to be found fighting against the Heavenly Father, you know, right? So I can roughly pay for you. But that's pretty much it. You know, Lord's will, you know, y'all were edified. And God bless you, Shalom.